I uh, can't wait to get started tonight. So we're doing Kaepernick or Cutler. Yeah, we're going to touch on this because they're the two, I guess, biggest names for quarterback on the free agent market right now. Um, I know Kaepernick is quote unquote blackballed by some people, but I honestly think he has a skill set that would work for certain teams, at least not be a viable backup for somebody. Yeah, I could see that. I could definitely see that. I mean, I was I was expecting the Browns to actually take some interest in him, uh, just mm-hmm. for the sheer mm-hmm. fact that they have nobody on the quarterback, and because Hughes Jackson is the quarterback whisperer. Exactly. So I mean, but and then you know, with Cutler, I think Cutler he had his days. I think he's uh, maybe maybe a starter, but very low end starter. It, like C- Cutler, I, will, Cutler think, will probably be one of those Josh McCown type of guys, like a kind of guy who's like. Oh, we're gonna bring this in to possibly mentor a future starter, but we're not going to build our team off of a guy like that, you know? Right, a veteran to come in and kind of fill the gap, so to speak, until you can get that franchise guy in there. I think Cutler will be that because I just, I mean, honestly, I I kind of laugh at what the Bears did because they picked Mike Glennon, who's not bad. I think he's better than Cutler, but I think. Whoa. Him and Cutler are very much in the same mold. Okay, I, I, think, I didn't say he has okay. a stronger arm or yeah. has had better seasons than Cutler, all right, all right, all but right. I think that he is a smarter football player, has a better football IQ, and uh, is a better teammate right. than Jay Cutler. There's a lot be. of other things that go into it than rather just you know pure numbers. You know, yet that be not a cancer in the locker room. What, what kind of what kind of pisses me off? You know, like Kelly and I were talking about this a few days ago, but my question is. If a guy like Mike Glennon, a guy like Mike Glennon, who is now, it, the Bears are viewing him as a starter. You know, they're not going out to get, you know, Mitch Trubinsky. I think the Jets no, are possibly not, going after not, him. But why, yeah, why, are, anyone in the draft. why is a guy like, why is a guy like um, Mike Glennon, why is a guy like Mike Glennon, sorry, I had a brain fart. Why is a guy <laughs> like Mike Glennon considered a starter, but not Nick Foles? A guy who has won in this league. I don't understand how he's been relegated to backup quarterback. I know I just went off on a tangent, but <laughs> why? Why is he? Why is he not even put in? Put in a Josh McCown type role, you know? Uh, why you, you have to, you have to wonder why, Hank? But it's I, just I it's, have no idea. It's team fit. It's team fit. It's team fit. Um, about him. I mean, that was the last time he started. Was it at the Eagles? No, he he got a job at the Rams, the Rams. and he couldn't hold that, right? Yeah, yeah but, but like, Rams. who's but who's who, who's a good quarterback for the Rams? No one, because no. especially not with Jeff Fisher. I know, oh, yeah. but like, my thing is, if if you have certain guys who are going to be starting quarterbacks, or maybe even backup quarterbacks, I don't understand how a guy <laughs> like Colin Kaepernick cannot find even a backup role, you know? Um, because of his political mm-hmm. standards, which is, which is so stupid, you know, like oh, when, it com- when it comes, no, when it comes down to it, you know, okay, so what? He has an opinion, mm-hmm. he voiced it, but you know what? He's not the first athlete ever to stand up for something he believed in. Muhammad mm-hmm. Ali was mm-hmm. known for it, you know. There's plenty of other athletes Michael Jordan was known for never standing up for anything and not having an opinion on anything. But you hear it from other athletes right now. You hear Steph Curry made some comments this season. Um, you know, you, you Greg Popovich made a comment about how stupid he thinks Trump is. Like, I mean, it, it's not unheard of for people to, you know, I think it's just because Colin Nick took a stand. Uh, Kaepernick. Colin took, Nick. Colin, <laughs> Colin Kaepernick. Colin Nick uh, took, a, took a stand. For something, and the way he did it offended a lot of people. And I think that NFL teams are shying away from him. Well, simply for because NFL is about money, and people look at it as that's baggage. Right. That's a lot of money. That think about think about a huge swath of people. And I'm not trying to get political, but think about there's a lot of people out there that despise Kaepernick because he what he did was desecrate the flag to those people and that you, that's everyone's opinion yep. everyone's entitled to it but as a business sense it doesn't make business sense you're right and to add on to that point um let's just cannot look at the uh, cannot the NFL, win with the NFL cannot coach with them can't do it I want winners <laughs> sorry um 
let's just look at the NFL uh, atmosphere or uh, landscape, if you will. Where are most of the teams around the area? In the middle and the East Coast. Not a lot of teams out in the West need a quarterback. Right? No. So all any. the teams that would be looking for a quarterback are flag waving people. So that, i.e., you're not going to have a lot of people or uh, teams, for that matter, to come se- seeking your attention, um, because out there in the Midwest or you know, in the Midwest or Central America, you're not going to find people. He doesn't fit the marketplace. He doesn't fit the mold. The only place Why he can you, play is Oakland or, or San Francisco. Why do you think everyone ate up the Tim Tebow? Yeah. All those people in Colorado and stuff like that, they loved it. Man of God. Do your thing, Tim Excuse Tebow. Me. That's fine. You know, I'm, once again, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Um, I think Colin Kaepernick has a better skill set than Jay Cutler does. And I think Colin Kaepernick's a better teammate than Jay Cutler is. Well, I think Jay Cutler debat- will definitely get a job the, before Colin Kaepernick. That's debatable because, I mean, you might have a nice, a nicer guy with Colin Kaepernick, but, you know, wh- whose girlfriend is he going to have sex with, you know? Uh, they got everyone off the team who he did that. Now he's not <laughs> into sleeping Why, with He's all mad all the time now. He's not into <laughs> sleeping with his teammates' girlfriends anymore. Whatever. Somebody somebody did something with – allegedly did something with LeBron James's mom. LeBron James came back to Cleveland. Delonte he's, West. He's still fine with everyone else there. Well, it's Delonte whatever. West is out the league. That's why – And didn't Golden there. Tate have to leave um, leave the Seahawks because didn't he sleep with uh, – Russell Wilson's wife. And then he can't, and then and then he canned her because he was like, "I'm about to get a big contract, and you're not seeing any of it." Oh, I love it. So I love it. Total shade. I love the shade. And he just he's like a one of those awnings, automatic awnings, just cast an automatic shade with that, and that's beautiful because she did him wrong. So bada boom, bada bing. So Hank, I, I get what you're saying about he did that one time, and there is a lot of speculation about him being alienated at. Not the Harbaugh, not the end of the Harbaugh, but the, uh, what, what's his name? The, the, Tom Sula? the Tim, the Tim John Sulas of the world, the Jim Tom Sula the, era. The, the porn, he was like, the, the they were saying he, he ate lunch alone and like all of this, you know, I just, I think that he's moved past that because if you talk to a lot of people, you hear a lot of the 49ers, even though he only started a few games this year, they all said positive things and don't get me wrong. I know you're, well, they are supposed to say positive things, but they seem genuine in that he was a good teammate, you know. Maybe he's not a leader anymore, but he's definitely a good teammate. I think he needs to stop playing football and go do other good things that he's doing right now. The path that he's on right now is a better path than probably any, any point in his life because yeah. he's actually going out and volunteering stuff, not just donating the oh. money. So that's 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 one thing. I'm like, yeah. you're, you're too involved, and I think that's another reason why people – are trying to stay away, not because he's doing the good things, but because he's so involved that his focus is not on football. There's a lot of there's a lot of different areas, different places that like ideas are coming from. What is why he is getting? He's not getting blackballed. It's just the stuff that he's doing isn't. It's not pro football. I'll tell you that. And don't get me wrong. Aside from whatever you think of his stance and what he did last year during the national anthem, this man, I have respect for him and what he has done. Give, in terms of giving back to the community, he put he literally put his money where his mouth was, and he has donated. He's almost reached that like million point, dollars. No, he's already done the he really well, he, re, well, he started that GoFundMe page. This is what I was getting to. Oh. They got a 60-ton gar- cargo plane to bring food and water to Somalia, Somalia because they're going through the worst drought in the country's history, yeah. and literally half the country is on the verge of starvation and dying, and he – he raised $2 million in 48 hours. So aside from whatever you think of what he did, I think DJ is right. He is doing, if he continues down the path that he's on right now with what he's doing in the community, he's going to make a way bigger change the than he team. ever will stepping on a football field. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and again, the black ball is not the, uh, just cause he's like standing for something. I think it's just his mind is somewhere else right now. Football is not the number one priority. It goes family football, but he's got family, um, the world peace, uh, volunteering, then football. Yeah. And that's that's not what you know teams are going to want as yeah. much as – Maybe he's not driven right now, Hank, you know. But we'll see, uh, we'll yeah. see what happens. Like I said, I think – Huh. Will, I think that Cutler will get signed. I guess, yeah, definitely, definitely before Kaepernick. I think Cutler will get signed before Kaepernick. <laughs> I could see Kaepernick go to Miami. 
That would probably be the only other place that would be accepted. Right, they, they extended or, Tannehill. Or, or, I mean, before it, like awesome been, before it might have been the Jets or the Bills. But yeah, the apparently, right the- apparently uh, Kelly and I were watching Bomani jo- or listening to Bomani Jones on um, – on ESPN radio and the guy, he like his, his like side, the guy on the side who, you know, gets him all of his information uh, said that he, he talked to every, he talked to a few NFL uh, GMs, I guess. And only one of them said that uh, Kaepernick was being blackballed. But then he, when he like pushed him for more answers, he was like, Oh no, he's, he's not. I'm just kidding. So like, <coughs> He 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 originally thought he was being like blackballed, but then he like wasn't he wasn't willing to like state kind of give more that makes information. Sense. That makes sense, and, I, and, I, and that's why I think for the, for that sheer fact right there that it's not a political blackball or blackball in any sort of fashion. It's just what where his mind's at right now. Um, but yeah, I think I think Cutler is going to get signed first as well. 